Would you like to know how to do a video like this? So today I'm going to show you how to do the clone effect with the Insta361R. You can do this with the 1R, the 1X, and the 2X. Even though they don't make the 1X anymore, you can still do it with all three cameras. You have to extend the tripod stick all the way out. And I'm going to use this old abandoned golf course to do this effect. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten steps away. Kind of nice size steps. And I'm just gonna do different poses. So here we go. Remember, you do these for ten seconds and then you move to the next spot. You take five steps to the right or left. Here we go. Just gonna turn the camera and just and I just go. One, two, three, four, five. It's like a big pie. I like a, I like to think of this as like a big pie. You know how you cut you cut a pie in six different slices. So you uh you do you do seven different poses and it's like a big pie. You go seven different places, and um, that's what you do. You might have to do it a couple of times just to get the uh, right distance. But that's what that's what I did. And here we go. Let's continue. Let's continue. See here, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. Okay, go to the next one. Five steps. One, two, three, four, five. Five steps that way. Turn the camera again, so you can see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five. Next station. We're going to open the Insta360 app. We are going to connect to the camera. We're going to go to stories. Go to shot lab. You need one clip. We're going to choose Shadow Clone. And it tells you what to do. It uh, tells you to select the 5.7K at 30 frames per second. It tells you to take five different shots. And don't um, overlap your footage. Then you hit use this theme. Go to camera. We are going to connect. Make sure you're connected to the camera using your Wi-Fi setting. You just go to Bluetooth settings. Turn your Bluetooth on. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. Okay. Should be connecting shortly. Let's connect to the 1R8. Eight 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 eight. Connect. Tap for options. Yes. Back. That's a three sixty. Alrighty, it's picked us up. Let's choose this first one. That was a minute and fifty six seconds. Let's tap it. Make sure it's selected. You see the check check mark in the box. Hit confirm. It's going to tell you to long press on your target, on your human target actually, and the AI will start tracking. Okay, take your finger and press anywhere on your subject, and you will see a yellow box 
around your subject and it will give you a percentage countdown up to 100% telling you how far along the process it is. Once it gets to 100%, you should have a 15 second video of your clone. Once it gets to 100%, you should have your clone. This is going to take a little while, so I'm going to speed through this process. And when we get to the end of this, I will come back and circle back with you so we can complete the process of adding music. Now that that has finished putting together our five uh, different exercise moves, we're going to go to the Edit Further tab. Tap that. So it's showing you all the different moves that you did. You can reframe, you can add different little moves that you want to focus on, or you can just let that play. And so if you're satisfied with that, we're going to hit check. And now we're going to add some music. So you hit the, the arrow button, you go to music. You can add their music. If you want to add your own music, go to edit music. Then we're going to go to local. Tap the local tab. Let's choose the riddle of the record. Let's tap on that. Once you have your music selected, you go to the top right corner and you'll see a box with an arrow coming out of it. Select that and it will export your video. Once it's done exporting, you can share it to uh, the, Insta, the uh, Insta360 community, Facebook, YouTube, or any link that you choose. But once it's done exporting, it will automatically be downloaded to your photos album. A few more seconds here. Okay, it says save to album. You'll see a green circle with a white check mark inside. That lets you know it's been saved to your uh, album. So let's exit out of this here. Let's exit out. Let's tap on that. Turn up the volume. Okay, now we're going to do the quick export 1080p. We're gonna, and we're going to go to custom settings click on the gear icon we're going to hit resolution you do 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 or you can go to 4k which is 2560 by 1440 and so we're going to do the high resolution bit rate we want the highest bit rate so we're going to do 100 and the frame rate is always going to be 30 we're going to save that and once it's downloaded it is automatically saved to your album and that's it you do the clone effect with the Insta 360 1R or the 1X or the X2. If you would like to pick up one of these cameras, there will be a link in the description below. That being said, hope this video was informative. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe, share this with your friends, let them know. You can actually do the clone effect with the 1R, the 1X, and the X2. See you on the next video.